welcome back guys i thought i'll make one last video uh, which would cover how to make a custom cart page checkout page and my account page okay so this is basically the cart page uh, now there are two ways you can do this uh, first is you can go over there um, to your pages and remember we had created these pages uh, earlier on this is product cart page this is product checkout page and this is product my account page and all we had done is inside of these pages we had included the WooCommerce short codes that the WooCommerce provides so you can see um, it says WooCommerce cart, WooCommerce checkout and WooCommerce my account so all we had done is created three pages uh, and included the uh, the um, short codes uh, respectively into them you can see product cart we have included this product checkout we have included this short code for a checkout short code and into the product my account we have included the WooCommerce my account uh, short code and that's what's being responsible for displaying these pages uh, which is checkout and my account and all of that uh, so this if you click on checkout it takes you to the checkout page so this is checkout page okay <clears throat> now we had also gone ahead and put the settings um, we had also uh, we also made sure that we went into WooCommerce settings advanced field and we had selected these pages uh, against the cart page checkout page and my account page otherwise they wouldn't work uh, so that's one one way of doing this uh, second way is that if you want to have your own header and footer uh, then what you can do is you can just go to your theme and create templates uh, for example I can create product checkout okay and I can just over here like I've done with other templates I can say template name is equal to uh, product checkout check out okay and then I can include my own custom header and footer or whatever I want to do in this page basically get header get footer and make sure that the page that you've created for these which is product card checkout or my account make sure that those have their respective uh, templates so I'm gonna create only one of them which is for the checkout and similarly you can do for the rest of them as well so if you do broader cart no I think which one am I doing okay okay you might want to do it for cart first okay refactor rename cart and not checkout because it's the second one cart refactor product okay so you can just go ahead and say product uh, just refresh it so you can say template and then one second why do I not have this product card dot PHP template name product card what the hell why it's not showing me that Okay, let's create a new one. Let's just name it as cart. Let me see. Still not getting Y. Okay. Okay, guys, I recreated that page, uh, product cart.php, and just set the template name to product cart. And I'll just come over here in the same page product card and just select the template as product card. Update it uh, and then include the header and footer. So get header and get footer. Okay, and then come over here, refresh the page. Obviously, I won't see anything because I've included the template. 
and all I have to do is just include this short code which is WooCommerce cart remember you'll do the same thing for checkout in my account as well I'm just showing you one you can do the rest yourself as a homework uh, okay so all I have to do now is just to echo do short code and remember we have to put this within quotes paste it and that's all I have to do and then if I come back refresh the page sure enough I've got the entire cart available and then I can design them but um, again uh, we are being very limited to the short code we don't really have a structure uh, to be able to go ahead and make changes if I want to align them in a different fashion altogether so how do we do that so for that like we've done it in the past for categories single category page similarly you have to do it for this as well so we have to find out where this is this code is coming from so this code is basically coming from if you go to plugins uh, WooCommerce uh, if you go to templates card folder this card.php this is the place where it's coming from card.php so if you do WP die over here let's see if that goes away sure enough it goes away okay so that's where it's coming from even the short code is inheriting its template from here so how do we how do we go ahead and make changes okay so first thing we're going to do is basically override it this template can be overridden by copying it into woocommerce card card.php now notice this part for the rest of them when we were dealing with um, single product.php like this one it never told us to put that in a subdirectory it was just woocommerce and then single product we never created a WooCommerce directory we directly put that into your theme and then uh, the, the file name and that did, did work for us but this time around if you notice after WooCommerce they're asking us to put a cart uh, directory which means if we don't put this into cart directory then this wouldn't work and I've tried that I don't want to spend time in showing that to you but yes uh, you need to create a cart directory and then put that in so what I'm going to do is basically just do control A, copy the whole thing, close it and come back to my theme, close this WooCommerce plugins, come back to my theme and inside of the root directory I will create a directory called cart because they were asking us to put that in a cart directory and just create a new file called cart.php because remember in order for us to override it we need to rename it. To the same file okay and it works for all the files basically for the parent and child so we have all the structure over here we come back we make changes we've got the table if we just do uh, if we just do save and go back and check sure enough now we have this entire thing available here okay uh, we can also get rid of the um, uh, the uh, let's just say product yeah product cart page we don't need that in case if we are uh, you know using this template to basically uh, load this up so so different ways to do it basically if you want to do it that way you can do it that way you can do it this way you can do it this way as well and just make changes in the structure right here you've got the entire structure right in front of you so you can make changes to that and style them the way you want to okay similarly it's going to be for the other uh, pages as well so we had the checkout page let's see where this code is coming from so again guys this is coming from a WooCommerce uh, plugin and then templates checkout form checkouts so if you form checkout is the page it's coming from so all you have to do is just do WP die over here to check if that's the case WP die let's see refresh the page and sure enough we don't get anything because we have made it die okay so you can notice this that's the page if you want to make any changes you know uh, it talks about it that if you want to go ahead and override it you need to create a checkout directory remember you need to create a checkout directory and then create a form checkout.php file into it and then just copy paste the whole thing you have got the structure and then make changes accordingly uh, similarly la last but not the least you have the my account page okay so let's go to my account page my account page we can go from here you can always create links in the menu bar like we've done in the past but uh, for now I just want to show it to you okay so let's view this page where is this page coming from let's find out 
let's have a look uh, this is checkout then you have the my account directory my account.php I'm hoping it's coming from here let me just try this yes so it's coming from here if I do WP die over here by going back and see you don't much you don't see nothing okay so you can figure out things uh, I'm not 100% sure that uh, this is all the code that it needs but yes uh, it tells about that this is where it's coming from my account my account.php so you can figure out in this directory basically uh, and this file by overriding it and, and you know changing things on your own all right so that's about it guys um, I've wrapped this up now and uh, if you have any questions you can leave down in the comments and do subscribe to my channel if you did like my videos series. Uh, WooCommerce is slightly complex and that's why I thought of making the video and, and making things simple for you uh, because a lot of times we need to customize things and WooCommerce is definitely one of the most popular plugins uh, that have made our life a lot easier. In the coming videos, in future videos, we will also discuss about how to integrate the payment gateway uh, which is basically done by just uh, you know installing plugins you can search for plugins for cc avenue for um, paytm and just go ahead and uh, you know install that uh, and then that should do the job for you and just to let you know that uh, if you want to see all the orders that have been placed you can just go over here woocommerce orders uh, and then you know whatever order has been placed will be dis being displayed over here i mean there's a lot lot uh, more information about WooCommerce which can't be covered just in one series so I think uh, but I think that uh, pretty much what we require in when in terms of uh, customization uh, of any particular page uh, then that's what has been covered in this uh, series and in future I'll be adding more videos as well uh, regarding that see you then bye